Well, well, well. What do I have here? Overweight assessment citation given to me by George Department of Public Safety. You got to love them. You got to love them. Hmm. I wonder how much is it? Scroll down to the bottom. Five hundred and six dollars. Let's go on up a little bit more and check out the location. Way Station, Ryan County, I-16, mile marker 144. A way station that DJ barely ever goes to. But I decided to go through it, go through it this time, and I knew I was overweight. I knew I was overweight, but I didn't feel like going the back roads as heavy as I was. If you can look at the gross, 8570. And you can see, you see the numbers. The fine is $506. Well, normally I would take this and give it to my company. And they would say, hey, Okay, we're gonna take care of it. Well, half of that did happen. Cause I walked in the office and I gave him this and he took it and he walked to the back. He said, hold on. And guess what he did? He came back and he gave me this. What the hell is this? Some people have seen one of these before. This is a damn oversized permit. Up to 100,000. I only weigh 80,000, 85,000. So guess what? If I had one of these, I would have been good. But wait, I did have one of these. But guess what? It was expired. If you look at the date on this, it say 8-2-23. The beginning date. Well, guess what? The one I had in my book had 8-1-23 on this side. You know what that mean? The mother was expired. So you know what? They said I was supposed to have came in the office and got one. So you know who got to take care of this five hundred and six dollar ticket? Mr. DJ himself, me. Five hundred and six dollars gone down the drain because was it my mistake? Was it their mistake? It don't matter who mistake it was. So you know what? I gotta pay for it. But it's cool though, you know. It's cool. But anyways, we're going to get this video started to show y'all how I ended up with this heavy ass, with this heavy material that I will never go and do, a, do again in my life. I don't give a damn how much it pays. I'm not going to take my black ass up there and do it again. So let's get to the video. And I hope everybody having a blessed day. So let's go. Let's take this cold start out. Now there's how she's supposed to start right now. There's how she's supposed to start. Let's get this day started. We're gonna do a, a pre-trip and get on down this road. Okay, so we're gonna get pulled over here to the View Island. And I'm gonna grab the water hose. I got a, I got a little small oil leak. And I know where it's coming from. It's coming from around the oil pan. 
but I like to keep my leaf spring rinsed off. I get if I don't rinse it out probably once a month or yeah, I'm say about once a month, then I start having oil develop, get caked up on the leaf spring. Well, I just like to keep it rinsed off, you know. I mean, if DOT pull, it's, it's brake safety week, so if DOT pull me over looking at the brakes, look over there and see a lot of oil caked up, you know, he might want to look a little bit more. So I just try to keep it rinsed off, you know. But we're going to get over here to the View Island and get this rinsed off, and we're going to get on that I-16. And I'll tell y'all what I got going on for the day. I give it a five or six. Is it worth it? So 
Hey, the market is not the same as it was a year ago. But we're gonna get some diesel and start on down this road again. My goodness, man. Few done went higher than a horse's ass. We're gonna make it through it though. We got some opportunities coming up. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do a good walk around on the truck. Make sure we don't see anything. We're gonna get on down this road. Yep, as you can see, I just put in $650. Diesel is sky high. Everything going sky high right now. It just ain't diesel. Inflation is just knocking holes in people's pockets right now, you know. But, you know, one thing you gotta be able to do is adapt, you know. You got to be able to adapt. If you're struggling in one spot, don't just stay there. You're struggling in one spot, don't just stay there. There's something else out there. You just gotta pick your head up, pick your head out, and don't be scared to make moves. Because if I'm struggling in one spot, I'll be damned if I'm gonna keep on staying there struggling in one spot. And saying that, we got some things coming up, you know. It looking like next week I won't be in, I won't be in the city. I'll be outside the city working. But the following week, I just about got, I got a confirmation on the email that I'll be doing something different. This truck will be doing something different. Which is, it's about time. You know, um, working with Pinsky and CK at the same time. keep killing myself doing that you know so I've been putting blocks together and pieces together and I think I just about got a confirmation on the email so next week I'm gonna be out of time working but when I come back we're gonna start a new endeavor so I'm really happy about it I'm gonna take y'all on my journey Going into next year, I already kind of got plans laid out. Of course, plans don't never go how you have them laid out, but if I just keep on working my butt out, working my butt out, working my butt out, then I eventually get to where I'm going. But we're gonna get on down this road. Today is a good day. We blessed. And let's go make some money. Bam! Pull into this yard. Go ahead and do a drop and hook. Pick up our load and going up to McDonald's. Hopefully it isn't too heavy. I had thought about going in the port, taking this empty in, but I'm ready to get on up this road since I gotta go up there and deal with Atlanta area traffic. So I really didn't feel like really didn't feel like going in especially it's right here doing lunchtime and if you don't know anything about the port doing lunchtime from about 11 11 11 30 till about one o'clock sometimes you can get stuck in there because the crane operators start to go to lunch so you might get stuck in a whole line for a whole hour because all the crane operators are going to lunch for the area. Find somebody to drop this empty. I think we'll pull right here beside this truck. And drop it right here beside him. It's like an old skeleton truck. We're gonna get on over here and get our paperwork. Well, we just made 
heading up here to Home Depot, 5149. That traffic been terrible. You know, one thing about me is, I like traveling early in the morning or later on in the afternoon, preferably after seven or eight. But being on 75 in between Macon, Macon and Atlanta, around from anywhere from like three to six o'clock, I can't stand it. You know, I understand some trucks are governed. I just like getting to where I'm going to, you know. I like, I at least like to ride 67 and 68. And it's a real hilly area right there in between Forsyth and Jackson. And man, you can get stuck behind some of the slowest trucks. But we made it. And after we leave here, we are going to go up into Atlanta and go up Georgia 400 to Dawsonville. So let's get checked in right here at Home Depot and go on yard move. And I don't know whether, I may have to, I, hopefully they have a high Q empty right here at this location. But if they don't, if they don't have a high Q empty at this location, then I gotta go over to Atlanta Motor Speedway. It's a nightmare. It's a real nightmare. So hopefully they have one. She sent me a list of empties to, I can potentially take up there to Dawsonville. Um, but the thing about it is, I don't know whether any is right here at the Home Depot. So we are going to see and let's get checked in. Ooh, I think I got lucky boys. I think I got lucky. I was supposed to go over to Atlanta Motor Speedway and get an empty, but as you can see, got one. And the tires on it look good too. So they're gonna save me about, at least about 30 minutes to an hour. It looked like they just did some work on this trailer, everything, what it's looking like. But all the tires looking good, I got lucky. Now I've been listening to the radio and it's an accident up off of um, Georgia 400 up around exit six and that's where I gotta go to. So I'm gonna stop. I probably end up stopping in Ellenwood. I probably end up stopping in Ellenwood and taking me a little break before I head on up there. But I'm just glad that I don't have to go over to Atlanta Motor Speedway. So we're gonna get on hooked up to this thing and Get on up here and deal with this ATL afternoon traffic. So let's go.
hills are the North Georgia mountains. I haven't been up here in forever. But I do remember it now. Leon Jones, Speed and Frame. since I've been up here but I remember it now I came up here and got a live load one time up here in Dawsonville and listen at this container solid look at the tires I don't know if you can see on camera but I can tell you what this stuff is heavy I've been out here before long 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 time ago and I wasn't a fan favorite of it um, but we back again but this up here in Dawsonville, Georgia though. It's it. Do a lot of feed and seed up here. And it's interesting because it's a Leon Jones. It's Leon Jones. And I know you can't see it on my door. Uh, no, you can't see it. But this truck is an old Leon Jones truck right here. So that's kind of interesting though. But we way up here in Dawsonville. We finna get back down this road and I'm ready to get back down this road. <laughs> we finna ride a lot of traffic coming way up here. Man, it beat you down. Then I went out with you Savannah this morning. I'm ready to get to the house, so let's ride. 